and reptiles so these are reptiles are the ectothermic amniotes class reptiles are the ectothermic amniotes okay so these in this reptiles some extinct class some extinct organisms are added into this okay so the extinct labyrinthodont the extinct labyrinthodont amphibians the extinct labyrinthodont amphibians gave a rise to give a rise to the extinct labyrinthodont amphibians give rise to carboniferous give rise to develop in carboni ferous era okay so the carboni ferous era reptiles so the carboni ferous reptiles are in this era the reptiles are developed and in the period of mesozoic period so class reptiles are ectothermic amniotes so the extinct labyrinthodont amphibians gave rise to develop in carboniferous era that is reptiles the reptiles develop in the develop in mesozoic period so that's why this period is also called as golden age of golden age of reptiles golden age of reptiles so these the most reptiles are the most reptiles are clear lay water the most reptiles lay cledoic cledoic x so most reptiles lay cledoic type of legs so these cledoic type eggs are these cledoic type eggs are water okay most reptiles lay cledoic eggs so these eggs are water tight type so the eggs are these cledoic eggs are four membrane eggs four membrane eggs so that four membranes are first one is amnion second one is allantion third one is coroin and fourth one is yolk sac so these are the four membranes of eggs so class reptiles in this these are ectothermic amniotes extinct labyrinthodont amphibian gave rise to develop in carboniferous era that is the reptiles the reptiles develop into develop in the mesozoic period so that's why the mesozoic period is known as golden age of reptiles so here the most reptiles lay the water tight 
cladoic eggs so the water tight cladoic eggs membranes are four types that is the amnion and elantion corion and yolk sac so here the amniotic eggs the amniotic eggs are help in the aquatic condition abundant in the aquatic condition so this is the reptile general characters for the reptile class